Hi, Sophie Giuliano here, and I am in my kitchen, and I'm about to show you how to make an incredibly delicious super food scone. This is a treat that you can eat even if you are on a super duper healthy eating plan, such as my gorgeous for good um, eating plan in my new book. So I'm all about, my philosophy is that you've got to allow yourself treats, you've got to allow yourself your sweet, yummy things that you love, because otherwise if you're on some really stringent diet, you set yourself up to fail. Eventually you're going to cave in. I love baking, I love scones, I like a cup of afternoon tea, and this was a really, really easy one to bake, and it's got a secret ingredient in it, which I'm going to show you in a minute. So um, let me get my little gloves on here. Um, these have just come out of the oven. Can you see one has already been taken from there because I had to do some tasting, of course. Um, Superfood scones, sweet, crumbly, buttery, delicious. Do you want to know the ingredients in them? I'm about to show you. Um, and also the recipe for this superfood scone uh, will be on my blog as well. So again, link underneath the video to that. So this is what I used to make them. I did a bit of a cheat um, because I am gluten-free and I often make my own gluten-free flour blends. But today I decided to use this one by Pamela's and it's their biscuit and scone mix and it is really, really delicious and so easy. So a bit of a cheat there. Then uh, the fat I used was by Earth Balance. And this one I really like. They have a soy free version if you're allergic to soy. And uh, what I like about this for baking is that it does impart a nice buttery taste. So that is good. We are getting to the secret ingredient, by the way. Um, the thing that I use, the ingredient that I use to give it a little, to pump up the sweetness, and I don't always use too much, in fact I use very rarely use sugar, but I do like this product. It is by Sweet Leaf and it is called Sugar Leaf. And it is a blend of stevia and cane sugar. And because it's so uber sweet, you only need to use a tiny bit of it. And it actually says on the packet that it has two thirds fewer calories than regular sugar. So that's a good little uh, tip for baking. Now, are you ready for the secret ingredient that really took these scones completely to the next level? Here it is. Where is it? Where is it? I have lost it. Here, boom. All right. It is the, it is by Made in Nature and it is called the Super Berry Fusion Blend. And this is a blend of um, uh, cherries, dried cherries, blueberries, goji berries, raisins, and it even has little pumpkin seeds in it. And why I love it. this, my family, by the way, just eats handfuls of this. And it's delicious just thrown on oatmeal instead of raisins. Anything time you would typically use raisins, this is better because it's got all these different superfoods and it's actually more delicious because it's not just that bland sweetness of raisins. You get this sort of tartness as well from the cherries. Um, so I used in this recipe half a cup of this and when you bite into the scone you kind of get this explosion of oh there's a blueberry and a cherry and the crunchiness of the pumpkin seeds and I just love it. So again link underneath the video to that and that's all from me so have a go at making those scones if you are a scone lover like myself and just remember you know again my philosophy absolutely is that you know a healthy eating plan is one that is enjoyable and if enjoyable for you means having treats every now and again a couple of squares of dark chocolate after dinner at night really healthy stevia sweet and dark chocolate or the odd scone or banana bread or whatever it is then have it because life's too short to starve yourself of, of the things that make you happy. I'll see you next time.